It's game two, the Orioles and the Astros from Camden Yards. And the Astros delivered a gut punch last night as they down the Orioles seven to six. The headline tonight, I guess, Jack Flaherty makes his Oriole Park home debut for the Birds. They're gonna be facing Jack Flaherty, the new Oriole. This will be his first start at Camden Yards. It'll be his second start as an Oriole. First start went very well against the Toronto Blue Jays, but there you see the numbers split between St. Louis and Baltimore coming over the deadline. 4.28 is that ERA, but interesting to see that whip at 1.52, averaging a runner and a half per inning. Altuve right in the middle of that big rally in the ninth inning last night with a little flare hit off of Batista in the left field that kept a hitting streak alive. It's now at 10 games for Jose and he might have an 11 gamer but coming on and playing it on a hop is Austin Hayes 11 game hitting streak for Altuve as he leads off the game with a base hit. Kyle Tucker stands in the hero last night. Tucker hits one high and deep and there he does it again. Kyle Tucker. Back to back at bats with a home run. This one worth two puts the Astros in front early. Well, the Orioles will be looking for an early response here after Houston gets things started with a two run home run. And tonight, it'll be a chance to take their swings off of Christian Javier. Rutschman, switch hitting catcher, leading off, batting from the left side against Javier. Rutschman sky high into left field. Chaz McCormick on the run towards the foul line, and no play here. Oh, Adley Rutschman's got a fair ball. He's heading for three, and with a slide, he is safe. McCormick running all he could with a headlong dive, couldn't come up with it. It was a fair ball by about the width of a baseball. Here's Gunnar Henderson. Try to hold up, and he goes too far. That's a strikeout for Javier, and that's out number one. Fans don't like the call, but it looked like Henderson went for the first out. Anthony Santander, he got him. He was down in the count three and oh and he came back to strike out Santander their RBI leader for the second out. Ryan O'Hearn hitting 307 852 OPS and that's lifted to left hit pretty well going back on it McCormick has it measured makes the catch a couple of steps from the warning track and the side is retired. So Christian Javier allows a leadoff triple to Adley Rutschman but strands him. So Dubon on first and now Abreu in scoring position. Now it's back to the top of the order and Jose Altuve he singled and scored in the first inning. Altuve grounds a single in the left field. Abreu will be held up and he's going to run through the stop sign. Here comes the throw. It's cut off. He's safe. Initially Pettis was waving him home. Then he held him up and Abreu just kept running. And Jose Altuve ends up with an RBI single. It's 3-0. Ryan Mountcastle is extended to a 16 game on base streak trying to extend to a 10 game hitting streak he sends this one back up the right side there it is 11 games 107 ripped off the bat for Mountcastle leadoff single for the Orioles Austin Hayes the batter birds trail three nothing man on a man out 2-1 Hayes lifts it out to right field back goes Kyle Tucker it's in the stands how do you do Austin Hayes a two run a home run his 10th of the year and the Orioles blast their way back into this one they cut the lead down to a run top of the fifth in Baltimore Astros with a three to two lead over the Orioles Alex Bregman stands in a deep fly out and a walk tonight on Alex Bregman he's got a three hit series going also walked his last time up he's digging for two and Alex goes in sliding with a double to start the inning an 0 2 pitch sent to the wall and right for Alex there is a base open staring at us this guy made it two nothing early and we're not going to pitch to him even with just one out they're going to intentionally walk Tucker here so Jose Abreu bats he singled his first time up almost hits him and does get him that's going to load up the bases for Jeremy Pena. That pitch rides in on Abreu and hits him on the leg. So now base is full for Jeremy Pena who lined out his last time up. Well here's where you want to make it happen. 2-2 two -two. you don't want to give him a 3-2 count. Right here you got to throw him a strike. Yes he got him. Flaherty leaves three out there. Second strikeout in the inning. A big inning for Jack Flaherty as he gets out of a mess. And we are about to see the Orioles debut of Jacob Webb the 29 year old right hander. They claim via waivers Monday from the Los Angeles Angels. It'll be Dubon, Martin Maldonado, and Jose Altuve. 3 2 pitch, swings and strikes him out. 95 on the fastball. 
And Jacob Webb's first batter is a strikeout. It's Martin Maldonado is fouled out and struck out. And a swing and a miss. He strikes him out on a sweeper. Two strikeouts for Webb to start his O's career. And he'll get Jose Altuve. One, two, Jose Altuve absolutely fooled. Welcome to Baltimore. As we head into the eighth inning, Astros lead three to two. Chaz McCormick facing a new pitcher out of the Orioles' bullpen. Chaz McCormick sends this one up out towards the bullpen, racing back at left field, and a leaping catch! Austin Hayes! A day for the left fielder! Are you kidding me? Fuji not happy with himself as Maldonado walks the bases loaded. Again, got to the first two outs. An amazing catch for Austin Hayes in left. And here comes Brandon Hyde. Altuve faced Bauman yesterday and flied out to right. Bauman had a 1 2 3 seventh yesterday, then walked Kyle Tucker and left the game. And there's a ball over the head of the first baseman, O'Hearn down for a hit. Two runs are going to score. Astros lead this game 5 to 2. Huge hit for Jose Altuve with two outs. And now they lead it 5 to 2. Here's Alex Bregman. There is a base hit into right center field. Two more are going to score. Alex Bregman, what a night. It's now Astros 7, Orioles 2. And there are two outs with a runner in scoring position for Jeremy Pena. Pena 0 for 3, a walk and a run scored. Hey, JP, nicely done here. Adding another run in the ninth inning. Astros now lead 8 to 2. Pena had a three hit game and an RBI in his last at bat of the game last night. Picks up an RBI in what should be his last at bat of the game tonight. Orioles will be down to their last out. And Anthony Santander. Santander with a 2 2 count. There's a strikeout. Kendall Graveman, a shutout ninth. Astros have won the first two games of this three game series against the team with the best record in the American League. And they gain a game in the AL West now, two games behind the Texas Rangers.